to be able to do that because other people were doing it. Hi, thanks so much for joining me. So what I wanted to do was just show you what's in my pantry today and talk a little bit about the migraine diet while I do that. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna go over here. So you can, see, you can see where my spices are. So these are the way that I organize my um, spices. Since I'm a food blogger, I have a lot of crazy spices and I found that putting them in these bags like this and then saying um, these are like A to C and then you can see all the all the ones that are in there. So if I need cayenne or bay leaves um, or curry leaves, which is ones that I just pulled out, um, those are a great way to look at all the spices that I have, not end up buying extra spices, which I tended to do when they weren't organized. And it really helps me when I'm um, cooking or developing a recipe. Now I also have spices um, of course, I have lots of little jars, and I have sesame seeds over here, which um, these are the ones that I use pretty commonly. So one I'll just talk about briefly is dry mustard. So when I went on the migraine diet, one of the things I found was that fermented foods are not um, something you can use. And dry must and mustard, which I love, is one of those things that I couldn't use anymore because it's fermented and it's usually really high in sodium, which also isn't so great for the migraine diet. So um, what I ended up doing is getting dry mustard, which is ground mustard seeds, and then I can use it in recipes. I can add it to homemade mayo, and I can have that great mustard flavor without the fermented and potential trigger aspects of it. So that's one of my favorite spices that I use a lot. Another one I'll talk about real briefly is, um, and this one isn't even labeled, but it's such a favorite. This is my smoked paprika. And it's also called pimentone, and it can be it can come from Spain, but it also is is made here. The one is from Spain is really delicious, but one of the things I love about using this spice, smoked paprika, is that it adds this wonderful smoky, meaty flavor to foods. So when I used to eat plant based, it was a great way to add that sort of meaty umami flavor. It also is fantastic in chili and added to spice rubs for meat and fish and poultry. And it just has this wonderful color as well. So if you've tried paprika and thought, what's the point? You definitely want to try smoked paprika because it's a completely different experience. So I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, this was just a quick little test. And oh yeah, and, and um, someone says she loves it in a good mushroom soup. I seriously put this in almost everything. I will say though that in terms of the migraine diet, you do need to be careful um, because some people are sensitive to any kind of peppers and they might be sensitive to dried and smoked foods. So if you do suffer from migraine, you might wanna just test this out on its own a little bit here and there and make sure that it's not something that is bothering you. Thanks so much for joining me and um, I'm excited to be on Periscope, bye.